Hello guys and welcome to the video. This is for patch 264 for the Wish Doctor class. This is Legacy of Nightmares Spirit Barrage. Okay guys, I've not recorded this video for a long time, but re-recording it because right now on the test server, Legacy of Nightmares is currently up to 500%. Okay, and this build is very, very strong. Uh, on the PTR, on the server right now, there was a dude in the top 10 not that long ago with this build, which is crazy. Obviously he was using Paragon and stuff, but it's actually a very, very strong build on the test for 264 right now. Also guys, this video is uh, console friendly as well, belongs to your patch to 264, you can do exactly what we're doing right now. Love it. And also guys, as usual, there will be a build guide in the description of this video for all the best roll on gear. If it's not there straight away, it means I'm just waiting for DFans to update their database, but it will be there, don't worry. Lovely. Okay then, so uh, what is this build? Basically, it's a caster build. It's a caster build. It's absolutely awesome, man. It's really, really cool. So you can use uh, Spirit Barrage here for Optimize, and it's one of the very rare nuking builds that the Witch Hunter actually has. Pretty much the only one. I wish we could do this with bears and acid cloud. But um yeah, it's it's absolutely great, man. It's very, very cool. Okay guys, so basically on this build, every piece of your gear must be ancient. You get 500% uh, damage for every ancient piece of gear on your set. So I guess it's 6.5k. And you get 52% damage reduction once all your gear is ancient as well, because you get 4% item as well so uh yeah it's very very good man it's very very good remember you can only use this set item and that's it any other set items will not work at all okay lovely okay then so uh let's go through the gear man let's go through the gear uh spirit branch man is all buffed by the barber weapon here this is a ceremonial knife uh, instead of directing, direct, dealing direct damage, your spirit barrage now accumulates on the target and when you stop casting it explodes for 250 weapon damage of the accumulated damage all enemies within 15 yards okay so basically as you're casting like this it's accumulated damage on your target when you let go all that damage goes off in one big lump okay also guys every time you cast spirit barrage you're also getting these phantasms as well these phantasms are classed as a pet okay so that's why we're having forcer and germ in this thing here uh, these spirits come from the offhand here okay from the f basically spirit barrage gains the phantasm rune okay so uh, it was initially a bug. It was actually initially a bug, but Blizzard acknowledged it and actually kept it in the game because it was such a cool accidental build for the Witch Doctor. So thank you for keeping it, Blizz. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so uh, yeah, guys, uh, remember you want as much mana in this build as well. Make sure you got mana on your weapon, your helm, and your offhand if possible because you want as much mana as possible because you want to keep your Quiller damage uh, damage reduction bonus up all the time. It's very very important. Okay. You want as much tank speed as you can in the build. So all your rings gotta have a tank speed, your weapons gotta have tank speed, and so is your gloves as well. I'm almost capped, I'm just missing 1% of tank speed right now. Which is really, really annoying. What tank speed am I on? I'm on 220 right now. Might, that might be the cap anyway, I'm not too sure. But um Yeah, so basically every time you cast You're know, regaining power because of the Russian Vessence passive, okay? And you can see now my quiller buff here is solid. Okay, it's solid because of my tank speed and I've got a couple of mana rolls of gear. Also, what I've done to achieve this quicker, I've put in some maximum mana into the build. I've got an extra, extra 80 mana here as well. Just so I can achieve that quicker. Because if that goes down, I'm going to die. Basically, I'm going to die. And also, for this video, I've taken out if I get a main stat. Put a cheeky bit more vitality in there as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so let's go over the rest of the gear. Uh, like I said, guys, uh, Gaze and Demise gives us the access to the uh, Phantasm Room for a Spirit Barrage. That, so that way we can use the Phantasm Room here for healing. Lovely. So you're healing yourself all the time while you're casting. Nice. Uh, for next, guys, Swamp Land Waiters with the 20% extra cold damage. As like I said earlier, Litany and uh, Waiting Hose for the Legacy of Nightmare set to achieve this build. Of what you don't have these rings on, the build does not work, period. Okay. First gem we're using, guys, is Bane of the Trap for the massive DPS increase. Uh, Belt is the Witching Hour, because you want to tank speed here, obviously, to, you know, to get as much as well. Uh, more damage you're doing, more attack speed, the quicker you can get that cutter up and just blow stuff up. It's all about attack speed on this build. Nothing to do with very damage this one, which is refreshing. Okay, uh, of course, you're using the Enforcer as well, because they will buff the damage off the, uh, of the Phantasm. Gloves, guys, is Frost Burns. Obviously, it's a cold build. Frosties give you cold damage. And also, freeze the enemies as well. A really disgusting pair of gloves here. And, uh, yeah, 20% chance, 20% uh, increased damage and have a 50% freeze chance. 50%! So, as you cast it, everything's just getting locked up. It's a really nice build, but it's very, very cool. Shoulders, uh, you want to use Portrait of the Skeleton King. Gives you a free self-res. Uh, you can use Corruption Shoulders for a little bit more pickup, but, to be honest, 
each polish scout and king. And make sure you got re uh, reduces all resource costs by uh, eight percent on the shoulders if you can. Okay, because that way it will help you uh, get to uh, Aquila quicker. Master Jerem, guys, because you know essentially he is a pet caster build. Okay. So, uh, Master Germ will buff the damage up. Unfortunately, I don't have a Germ rolled here correctly. I, I should have Spirit Barrage over Vitality roll here, so I'm actually doing less damage than I, I should do right now. Lovely. And like I said, guys, Aquila Man for that 50% damage reduction. You can also notice here, I'm actually using Rubies in my chest and my legs here. The reason is because this build is actually quite squishy. Uh, my chest is rolled wrong, actually. I should have a leak damage reduction here as well. So, um, use uh, Red Gems or Emeralds in this build to hire your armor up. Because when you go into those really deep rifts, it's vicious, okay, because the build is fairly squishy. Once you've got your quitter up and you're spamming horn, you're hitting yourself, you do become somewhat tanky. But just to help with tough, especially on the Rift Guiding Fire, rubies or emeralds will give you armor, will help greatly. Hellfire Amulet, guys, we have Spirit Vessel on here as well, using the Stricken Gem for the Rift Guardian DPS. The Kumba's Ornament Bracer for damage reduction from Soul Harvest Stacks, you get 60% here as well. It's all very, very nice. Okay, let's go over to uh, the cube. In the cube, guys, of course, is the Sacred Harvester. Feel free to swap out which one you want to wear. It's up to you. I do believe, though, the Barber actually has a higher base damage, though, than um, Sacred Harvester. I think that still happens, actually. I don't know. I don't have a Primal Harvester, unfortunately, rolled correctly, so I can't really test that right now. But most of the time, man, just get yourself that, that sweet, sweet Harvester, baby. Or uh, GG Barber we've got here, right here. Gives you 10 stacks. Uh, Belcher and Sentence gives you fetishes. I know it does, uh, they, but they will do a bit of damage, but they're more here for blocking nasty attacks. Got man spin and things like that. That way, when you're in, because you have to play quite up and close a person. It's not a ranged build. You, know, you're, you are quite close to the mobs all the time. So every time you're casting Spirit Bride, you're summoning fetishes that will push the mobs back from you. you know, it'll make it like a wall of fetishes around you. And it'll stop some nasty effects coming like Spearman and things like that. And of course, guys, key to the build is the Royal... Uh, not Royal Grange, what am I talking about? Uh, the Ring of Emptiness, guys, for the 300% uh, increased damage when you affect some mobs by Haunt and Locust Swarm. Lovely. Okay, on the follower, uh, just usual, guys, just all the heals, man. All the heals, Johan, self res I should use a Thunder Fury, really. Oculus Ring with Wild Ring, man. And use the Freeze Deflection if you've got... This is the whole character, so it's all set up all wrong now. This particular guy. Okay, guys, for skills, uh, Spirit Brush Rotoblize is your main DPS. It heals you constantly. Haunt Poison Spirit for the 20% increased damage. Also, when your targets die, the Haunt will leap from target to target as well. So you don't have to always recast, which is nice. Piranhas, Piranha Hado, this is your grouping spell. So, pretty much, in like most builds, you're going to find a leap pack, dragging loads of trash, then pull them all into one spot and just, just blow them out of the boots, basically. So that's what you want to do with this. Uh, Soul Harvest Languish gives you uh, a huge armor buff because of the uh, 10 stacks of Soul Harvest from Sacred Harvester. 100% armor buff there. Intel buff as well. Uh, Spirit Walk Severance for movement speed and 2 seconds of damage immunity. You can change this on a guess or joint if you wish. Lovely. Uh, Local Swarm Pestilence. Uh, this gives you 100% spread to the whole screen. But if you're doing Deep Push... You should really use Cloud of Insects, but it wasn't spread instantly. You have to cast it about two or three times in a big pack of trash to get them all tagged up. But for this video, I'm just going to use passives because, you know, I'm, I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, guys, for passives, um, you want to use Confident Ritual for the 25 additional damage. Um, this is a multiplication bonus as well. And also, you know, I like using Piers the Veil. Vale doesn't cost you any mana to use so this way you can keep your quiller up all the time rush of essence uh, returns you 100 mana over 10 seconds and it's basically spammed it procs from your horn and your uh, soul harvest spirit barrage and spirit walk okay so you can't just spam horn if you wanted to to get that that rush of essence coming up it doesn't there's no buff icon for it unfortunately but um, that's what keeps, that's what charges your mana so much and keeps that Aquila up, okay? It's very, very, very important to the build. You take this out, you're basically dead. Uh, creeping Diff, uh, your Haunt, Locust Swarm, and Damage Occasion of Piranhas last almost forever. Okay, so as soon as you attack the mob with Haunt or Locust Swarm, it's on them until they're dead, okay? Then the Haunts will leap out, but the Pestilence won't, though. Nice. And Grave Injustice, but guys, we give you all that very, very important cooldown so you can cycle your, your Nado and your Spirit Walks and stuff like that, okay? Also gives you a uh, life and mana back as well within 20 yards. Okay then, so let's go do a GR100. We're taking Paragon points out. Uh, well, we've got, we've, got, we've got movement speed, a bit of mana, a tiny bit of health, man. I might give us a little bit more health as well. Why not, man? YOLO. Okay. Um, 
the or the, most of this gear is all 92 95 is 100 there, and 80 100 all these sort of gem levels are very very easily accessible in patch 264 every character that uses a six piece set any set can do a gr 100 solo easily next patch absolutely easy you can have access to all these orgs super super quick okay super super quick so uh let's go test this out then and uh i'm a bit rusty on this it's been a long time since i've uh, recorded the uh, spirit barrage but right, one of the first things you want to do is get your soul harvest next up okay Oh, you see that? Look, I didn't have my stacks up, and straight away, that nasty mob has propped me already. There we go. So we're spamming haunt now. Get a load of haunts out. One pestilence, because we're using the spread rune. But remember, though, if you're using cloud of insects, then you'll not be using the. You have to cast about two to three times in a in a big trash. Remember, if you're we are using conference rituals, you have to be within twenty yards. So from my templar. It's about here to my Templar, that is 20 yards, just to give you an idea where it is. Right, let's go. I feel like I kill these hell witches because uh, if my credit goes down now, they're going to kill me. But yeah, um, a dude, there was a dude on PTR not that long ago, and he was uh, rank 10 with this build. Rank 10, which is very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. So, so it's had a uh, decent buff. Look at that freeze. You see that freeze there? Freeze from uh, Frosties is so nice, especially on the Rift Guardian as well. Oh, 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 oh let me let me get into this room because that's a bit dodgy out there. Unfortunately, we've got a really bad map. I was hoping for like a really nice high density map. Unfortunately, it's given us a rubbish one. Hopefully, the next map we're going to is going to be a a bit better. Got like freeze. So yeah, when I push forward, the first thing I do is I just throw a quick spirit branch out just to freeze the target. So I've got an opportunity to uh, set them up. With Haunt and Locus on, but because we've got so much attack speed in the build, we can get Haunt and Locus on out in a, in a pinch okay, really, really quickly. Obviously, if I was using my Paragon points out, this would be way, way faster, but I just want to show you without Paragon points as usual. Okay, we've got a Juggernaut pack, unfortunately. Okay, guys, top tip here yeah? uh, don't just sit there spamming Spirit Barrage. You want to interrupt your cast to set off the extra damage, okay? Especially on the Rift Guardian fight. Well, once we get to the Rift Guardian, we'll, I'll show you how to do it. But what you can do, you can do what I'm doing right now. You can start a step. You did your start a step trick. Unfortunately, this uh, this little dude is going to take a while to kill. But what you can do, instead of just holding it down like this, so you cast about five to six times, then you just cast a horn. And then they detonate the remaining damage from the spirit brush. You go about five, six, boom, and interrupt or move. Most of the time, just cast horn. Just go bang. Like that, because that way it just detonates more damage on your target. It's a more efficient way of doing the DPS. Of course, is Garbo. Oh, ooh, there we go. That was nice. <laughs> but yeah, if you're looking for a cast of Witch Doctor for 264 in Season 16, man, this is a nice build. It's, like I said, it's not top. It's not top. Right now on the test server, Jade is top. Which I've recorded already. And it is looking really, really nice. Good old Jade. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go. Go, 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 go. God, this rift is pony chat. Absolutely terrible, this rift. There's barely anything decent in there. Now we've got a pack there. Yeah, once that quill is solid, then that's when we're okay. <laughs> but when it's down, when it's down, it's like, oh, you gotta be careful. Quartz, yeah, these mobs are dreadful, man. But it's so nice, though. It's such a direct caster build. We don't have really any direct caster builds on the Witch Dots apart from this. You know, we've got Arak here, but that's more of a channeling build. We've got Jade, but that's more of a harvest DOT build, isn't it? So we're doing the trick now where we cast five times and right click for Haunt. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Oh, look at all this trash in here. That's a bit more like it. Oh, 
Hey, your speed, speed pylon is actually best for this build. Because it just lets you spirit branch like an absolute lunatic there. Uh, close, close there. This is going to be sick there. Da -da 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 tag. Dead. <laughs> oh, this map, this map is horrible. I really should keep away from those uh, oppressors' uh, fire attack. Because it's absolutely filthy. You could actually use hexing pants in this instead of transcendence. But as you see, it can be a bit glassy. So if you're doing stutter stepping like I'm doing right here, like this, you can actually use hexing pants instead. Which actually works really well. Hey, it's got a good map. Good, good, good. I was really hoping we were going to get like a density map than we have now. Sweet. There we go. That's more like it. I hate it when I do videos, I don't get a decent map. So annoying. Pull a power, guys. If you see a poor power, I'll just jump into it because the damage bonus will be 85%, obviously. So, you know, that's insane. So, use it. Certainly one of the more, the more challenging builds on the Witch Doctor, though. So, what I'm doing now is a bit naughty. I should be just uh, trying to kill one dude by himself. I should be. Going out, looking for trash and all that. Putting loads of dudes into it. What you can do as well, guys, right now I'm using Poison Spirit on my Haunt. You can use Draining Spirit to get your Quilla bonus up quicker. And also, you can use Consuming Spirit to give yourself loads of heals. So if you're new to this build and you're dying quite a bit, you can use uh, you can use uh, either of those. It will just keep you up a lot quicker, you know. Just, you know you're just getting gaining uh, constant healing like, all the time, which is obviously lovely. But if you're pushing this to the max, then you really, really, really want to use the uh, really want to use the uh, the poison spirit because extra damage. At the end of the day, especially on softcore, you know, it's, it's a damage race. If you're on the hardcore, then. Uh, if you do some hardcore, you're brave. That's what I can say. <laughs> but definitely use uh, consuming spirit to uh, up your uh, healing. Apparently, we've got a pack. Oh, there it is. Oh, God, I've got two packs now. Uh. Yeah, the job out for a follow up board him in as well, man. That was good. <laughs> But yeah, if I put my Paragon into this, we'll be absolutely destroying this. I just want to show without Paragon, not just one shot in it, you know? Not a hundred. If I had that extra... Oh, wow! If I had that extra 50% uh, Spirit Barrage on my Helm, that stuff would die a lot quicker. So when things go pony guys, I tend to like skip around the mobs. In like, like a little uh, little circle. There you go, we're still like recovered a bit now. Okay, five casts, break it, so it's to set off the extra damage. Yeah, a little progress there. No, you don't. Group them up, get some haunts in there. You only have to really cast about five or six haunts in the target. Don't go crazy with your haunts, you know? Get a big trash pack, put about five or six in it. It will only take you a couple of seconds to do it. Oh, now I'll get a condo. Ah! <laughs> now I'll get a condo. Yeah, that's about right. But yeah, just do like five or six haunts. And as soon as you kill those targets, they'll just leap into the other mobs. And they'll be triggered up. Should be looking for a pack, really. There we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's two packs now. There we go. Drag him in. Maybe you want to get as, all those mobs as, as together as possible with your NATO. Let's 
so away you get maximum explosion damage it's kind of weird though because like i said this build doesn't use area damage but you still want to group everything up for the spirit barrage explosion if you're playing guys if you're playing this in groups and you get lag turn off your area damage and your paragon points just turn it off in here if you're getting any uh any lag in groups because that's probably what it's going to be uh, I've got one of the worst mobs I could have possibly had. Goatman Spearman. Ugh. These dudes are horrible, man. If I was last playing the meta build, I would take less damage because we wouldn't have access to a card of insects. But with that build, you got to recast. you got to cast about four or five of them. And it drains your mana right down super quick, so... The Rift Guardian, here we go. Okay, remember guys, got to stay within 20 yards. Cast about 5 or 6 times and break it. Okay, so you go boom, 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 boom. Nado or... Uh, Nado or Haunt. And it'll break it. You can see the extra damage going off. And the fetches are blocking him from coming too close to me as well. The Frost Burns as well. Oh, I forgot to teleport. The uh, frost burns will be CCing him sometimes as well. This guy, you got to look for that teleport attack. You can tell if you're, you're in the right yards because your um, your soul harvest will be going off. You can soul harvest if you're in the right range. There you go. Interrupt. Soul harvest again. Interrupt. Interrupt him again, and boom, he's down. Unfortunately, the riff was kind of sucky. Any reds? No reds. Damn it, man. Why don't I get no reds? <laughs> I just want a primal to drop on one of these videos, man. Oh, come on, Blisk. Put the stream over back on. And there you go, guys. That is uh, Spirit Barrage Legacy of Nightmares for patch 264. Remember, though, on this PTR right now, this uh, damage can go up or down. In my opinion, I think it actually needs to go up. Uh, Blizz, if you guys are watching this video, can you do me a favor, maybe? Maybe make it so the damage bonus gets increased further if you're wearing Primal Agent. Because right now, Standard Agents and Primal Agents just give us the same damage buff. Maybe up it a bit? maybe 10% more if it's a primal that way it can be more competing to top end sets just an idea man because uh, Legacy of Nightmares is a great way to play Diablo 3 but even this set bonus now it's not going to be challenging the top builds in the game right now please 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 consider primals up in the damage bonus on Legacy of Nightmares man making it like an additional buff that would be awesome and there you go guys hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching it if you enjoyed this video please give it a like uh, if even, even more so give, give me a sub that would be fantastic and put on turn on notification bell on man for more future content love it uh, guys if you've got any questions or anything like that feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next video take care have fun in century and I'll see you in the next one remember guys the build guide will be coming soon as well lovely see you later guys cheers as well, guys, big thank you to those that support me on Patreon. Uh, top bros right now is Mr. Phoenix, Safi, and Jinx. Thanks, guys, for the extra layer of support to keep this thing going. Okay, guys, thanks very much. See you in the next video. Take care.